Hi, hello, good afternoon. Grace time here. It's Monday afternoon. I'm here at home at in Okinawa, and this is my new office, <laughs> home office. All right, so guys, today, um, kahapon, uh, we just finished, actually, this morning, we just finished our three days uh, Juness uh, Expo Vision 2020. Uh, it's our virtual uh, expo this time. Uh, usually, uh, we travel, no? We go to different countries, five countries every year. Um, the first time uh, we went to Milan in 2017, Yeah, this is my fourth one. So we went to Milan, we went to Rome, we went to Singapore, and this time is virtual. So I've been in uh, Jonas Global for five years. Um, I went to every uh, expo, every year one expo I go. Usually I go with my husband, but you know, last year he couldn't go because we just uh, came here to Okinawa. And this time uh, it's weekend, so he attended also. So it's really fun uh, and uh, I want you to encourage you guys. We still have, uh, I think, four more to go. Uh, expo this uh, this year uh, for Janessa. So I want you to uh, join our expo virtual. So you don't need to travel. It's uh, you can save your ticket. You can save hotel. You can save time because you're gonna do it at home. All right. So okay, this time uh, I wanna share with you like what's the importance of uh, expo of these big events. Okay. So usually. Uh, big companies do the expo. It's like more on, uh, you know, like uh, congratulating recognition of all the uh, achievers and then uh, education, um, really what they call it, intense master classes and uh, entertainment. Uh, it's really good. So this time they have many, many great entertain entertainers that uh, did for us and uh, they the blue blue group uh, blue group uh, how do you call that blue man group blue man group they're very very creative oh guys this uh, this theme is uh, painted with blue and then they can do music and they they use the pipes like a uh, water pipe and then they can arrange it and they don't talk but there's you can you will laugh it's really it's really amazing how they do that the music the colors it's really a great entertainment that i never seen before and then they have this uh the uh, the japanese were there also the japanese the african uh uh entertainment uh they they kind of uh they build these chairs <laughs> up and then they go up there. It's kind of so cool. And then the dance, the dancing, and then the painter, the painter, he can just paint so fast. And then he painted all the pictures of the diamond directors. And there's like a Chinese, uh, you know, like the new year for Chinese, something like that. And what else they did? They did a lot. It's so, so fun. It's really entertaining. Even we are not there. <laughs> and then we did the, the Zen Project exercise as well. So it's really a fun time. And then we learn so much. Uh, the leaders that uh, they tell their story when they are poor and now they are really successful by helping people the Juness kids you see that there's a new school now and they help this uh this uh you know people in uh, in I, I think it's part of africa that uh, wanted to learn wanted to be an entrepreneur so they opened the school it's a uh, school for entrepreneurship and then the kids uh, we help the uh, the uh, foundation and hospitals with uh, cancer uh, kids or everything about the kids is really amazing it's like my my heart will, is just you know feeling so happy to see this uh, emotional emotional but exciting really exciting event it's really good and uh, Tony Robbins was the 
keynote speaker. And guys, Tony Robbins is one of my favorite. I want to go to his event. And you know, his event, if it's his event is here in Japan, I'm going to go. But his event is always in America and I don't have visa to America. So uh, it's kind of difficult for me right now, but maybe someday I'm going to be able to go there. I was uh, denied with my visa many times, so I didn't have a chance to go. But <laughs> pandemic made me uh, be able to see him, uh, see and join his master class. It's really amazing. Um, Tony Robbins uh, is really good. Uh, one of my friends attended his seminar. It's expensive, but you know what? Expensive is good because it's really worth it. And this time, our company made it for us for free. Oh, my God. Like, you know, they brought Tony Robbins and teach us for three hours intensive master class. And it's really good. Yesterday, I was crying, like crying. My eyes, like, so, like, tears just fall in my face because I feel so, you know, like, it's emotional. It's like, you know, he can go deep in your heart and then you can just, you know, open your heart and feel free and it's really good and I want to share with you because not everybody attended the event and I want to share with you guys uh, what he teach in this uh, it just he, he teaches so many things but I cannot teach you everything right now but I'm gonna teach you this uh, very simple uh, the only two two part of uh, his teaching that uh, really uh, you know get me <laughs> this teaching is really really good that i know everybody can use in your life uh, especially for people that are a little bit weak especially during this pandemic and i think you can uh, use this so he said there's a three keys to a breakthrough so breakthrough no so when you say breakthrough means you're here and you go here <laughs> like you jump or you're here, you go here. That's why it's breakthrough it means you break through a barricade, right? So you break through something like you were poor and you become uh, wealthy or, you know, you're not healthy and you become healthy. You're sad and you become happy or uh, you're, you know, before you can say anything and now you can say something. So it's like a breakthrough. So when you pass, you're, you go out of your comfort zone. That's a breakthrough, right? So, in Tagalog, kung lumabas ka dun sa, sa part ng mahirap, no? If you break, kumbaga, nalampasan mo, nalampasan mo yung, yung struggle, yung point na mahirap, no? So, mostly, people who will have success. Success is not only money. Success is... Uh, Success is about uh, changing, changing to where you want to go, right? Because maybe some people don't need money as success because they already have money. People who are healthy don't need health because they're already healthy. But for people who are not healthy, success is health. For people that don't have money, money is success, right? So everybody are different. So it depends on us. What's the success for us is only us knows, right? So he, he, he teaches us these three keys to a breakthrough. So he said, um, this three is, uh, you know, we heard already. Everybody know. Alam na natin yung three key para magkapag-breakthrough tayo, makalampas, malampasan natin paghihirap, malampasan natin yung gusto natin lampasan na baguhin natin sa buhay natin. Kailangan merong, ano, merong point saan tayo maglalampas, no? Paano tayo? How can we, we go to that barricade? How can we, you know, parang train. For example, there's a train, right? So if the train uh, driving uh, fast, going fast, he can, he can, uh, he can, crash the, the wall, right? But if the train is going slow, cannot, uh, cannot uh, break the wall. So parang ganon. If the plane is going to the runway slow, slow, will never take off. But if the, at first, the plane have to go so fast speed so that the plane will take off. 
So that's the breakthrough. Like when, what uh, moment of uh, the speed that you can go to the breakthrough? What is the moment, the momentum, right? That's the breakthrough. So, but there's different ways of momentum that, you know, we use to do the breakthrough. So he taught us this three one. This three is a state of mind, state of mind. And then the other one uh, is your story, right? And then the other one is your strategy. So there's three. So state of mind, your story, and strategy. So this one, everybody knows. Everybody say, ah, I, I know that already. I've been doing that already. Uh, I know everything. I know how to do that. But I have no breakthrough, sabi nila. Alam ko na yan, but wala naman akong result. Okay? So mostly, but walang result. Kasi, kumbaga sa manual, if you buy, uh, for example, um, you buy um, something that you have to make, uh, like you go to uh, Ikea, right? So you go to Ikea, you want to put up a table or something. And there's instruction, right? There's a tools, there's a screw, whatever in there. But if you don't follow the instruction, it will take you longer. Or you might break it and cannot use it anymore. You have to buy a new one. So there's, there's, a, there's a formula and there's a manual, like a step-by-step. -step. So kapag sinunod natin yung instruction, yung one-by-one, one, kahit halimbawa, even in cooking, all the ingredients there, but you don't, use, you don't follow the step-by-step, -step, same ingredients, Yung niluto ng isa at niluto ng isa, same ingredients, is different. One is good, the other one is not good. Because there's a formula and there is a step-by-step -step to do. So he said, this three, state of mind, story, and then strategy. So usually, people that don't have a breakthrough or maybe the breakthrough is, uh, takes long time because of everybody use the strategy first. So, karamihan ang ginagamit pala natin yung strategy. Inuuna natin yung strategy. For example, um, for example, uh, right now, it's pandemic, right? It's lockdown. Then, for example, you lose your job. Your boss said, um, you know, we only need uh, five people to work and you're ten. So, five of you will be gone. You will not have a job. So, uh, so five of you will have a problem and then the five continues working. So usually the first, what you're gonna do? You don't have a job, you don't have money to pay the rent, the electric, so even pandemic, you have to pay the rent, you have to pay electric, you have to pay the water, the gas, everything. So mostly people think of strategy. In this time, what I'm gonna do? Anong gagawin ko ngayong pandemic, walang work? Ah, uutang ako sa kaibigan ko. Uutang ako sa friend, sa ano ko, family ko, dun sa ano, uh, kaibigan ko, kakilala ko na nandun sa malayang lugar, may pera yata yun. So we always think of something that is easy, no? That's our strategy. Easy, like, what can I do? I don't have money, um, I'm gonna just do this, you know? Like, I'm gonna ask someone to just give it to me. So parang gano, or I, you know, you will like, of course, you will pray. Okay, I'll pray, I'll pray, I'll pray. You sit there, uh, you just pray that something will come, right? So, so you, you think of different strategies, right? The strategies work. Na okay din yung strategy. But sometimes strategy, you do strategy like, for example, you want to lose weight, right? So what's to lose weight, you don't eat. Or you exercise five hours a day. <laughs> Or something. Of course, you will lose weight. That's true. You can have a uh, you can have result, but then that result will not last long. Hindi daw yun maglalast ng matagal yung result. Kung strategy lang is only strategy, right? So the next, so pabalik tad yung strategy is ayon. You do the strategy, right? It will work for some people. It will get result 
But there's another one. So now is the story. So what is your belief, right? What is your story? For example, you need money, you don't have work. So um, then you, you don't have food. So what is the story? What's your belief? So what is this for, right? So this story will determine also how you're gonna get what you need, this story, right? For example, if you are just hungry yourself, you're gonna go to your friend, hey, do you have uh, some food there? I'm gonna go to your house, I'm gonna eat. So it's solved already, right? So you don't have money now, ah, but next week uh, the government will give me money, so I'm gonna have some money, right? So it's, it's not a strong story, it's easy. But if your story is your kid don't have milk to drink, if your kid don't have food to eat, you cannot just go to the neighbor and ask the neighbor, hey, give me, give me food, give me milk for my kid. You will think more, right? For example, during this pandemic, if someone is sick, you cannot just say, hey, help me, help me. You, gonna, you will think more. So maybe your action will be more than the speed of the plane, right? So if you just don't have food for yourself, oh, I'm just going to ask my friend to lend me. I lend him before. Maybe he can lend me money right now. But if your uh, story, your reason why you need it, if it's strong enough, you have a story, someone is sick, you want to save your family, you have a kid that need the milk to drink, your action will be different. You will have a different action, different thinking. You cannot just think, oh, ah, yeah, I'll get it tomorrow. Mangkwa ko yan tomorrow. Mangutang ako, manghingi ako. But it's not forever. But kung ang, ang reasoning mo, yung story mo, yung, yung bakit, yung why is stronger, you can do stronger. Sabi nga, pwede kang puma kumapit sa katalim. <laughs> Parang ganun. Magagawa mo dahil yung story mo, yung gusto mong gawin, yung taong tutulungan mo, is stronger. May, hindi lang para sa'yo. If it's for other, for your family, nagagawa natin lahat. Yung iba nga nagdanakaw, yung iba, they will still just to pay for the hospital of someone in the family if they are sick, right? They can do bad thing to do that. But, you can, you can have result. You can pay the, the hospital or you can buy food. But, if it's, it's not forever, as, again, it's not forever because if you borrow, you cannot borrow forever, right? If you steal, you cannot steal forever. If you go to the neighbor, you cannot go to the neighbor forever if you don't have that big story, if you don't have that strong reason why, right? Then, okay, now you have a strong reason why. So I have many friends that, you know, oh, I'm so... Uh, I'm so down because like this and I have kids to feed, I, you know, uh, for me, it's okay, but for my kids, so it's strong reason, right? So then have a story. But there's another one. Why even they have a story, they cannot do something? Why even they have a story na nahihirapan sila, may anak silang tinutulungan, bakit hindi pa rin nila magawang mag-breakthrough? How come? still not breaking through, even there's already a story. Even kailangan ng tulungan yung family or very strong na rin. But hindi pa rin nakakapag-break through. Because there's one more. There's one more important. And it's the state of mind. State. So yung state, yan yung, yung state yun, yan yung tinatawag na, ano yung nasaan emotional state? Yung emotionally, nasaan ka? Right? Because two persons, two persons, same situation, for example, same no job, same, uh, for example, just only elementary or didn't go to school, same situation, everything, same family background, but the other one, uh, both have a strong why, their family need money, their family, someone is sick, they have kids that they have to feed. So both of them have the same story, right? The same story, the same situation. But one can do the breakthrough, the other one cannot. Because this state of emotion at the moment. 
So, ito palang state of emotion at the moment. At that moment, ano yung pakiramdam mo? What do you feel? Right? What's inside your heart? What's inside your mind? So, yung strategy, strategy, we always think of mind. We think from our mind. Strategy, you want to get money, you do something, right? Strong why? Because there's a situation. Your situation is bad. Like, you need to help your kid. You need to help someone sick in the family. So, that's a tough situation. You have a story, right? So, that's also good. But you cannot move, you cannot go to the breakthrough if this emotion at that moment, your state of emotion. So ano yung nararamdaman mo during that time? Ano yung emotion mo? Sabi nga ni John Maxwell, John Maxwell said, if you are going to uh, Mount Everest, right? Going to Mount Everest, you need all this, right? So why are you going? What's your strategy? You have a strategy. I go there like this, like that. Yeah, of course, you have strategy to go. You can go. But there's trouble there that you're going to pass by, right? You have food, but you fell. Then another problem, right? So what's your why? Ah, I want to be top. I want to be in the newspaper. I want to be uh, greeted. I want to have a trophy. I go to Mount Everest. Yeah, okay. That's strong also. But what is your state of mind? Your emotion is the most important because that emotion gives you strong stability. You're strong in mind. And then you go, oh, I'm strong. I'm positive. That's okay. But sometimes we don't know. Something inside us, right? You see sometimes very successful people already have the money, have all the family, loving family, everything. And then they're not happy. Because inside, there's something that's pushing them inside. So, parang ibig sabihin, ang daming dinadala-dala. Parang maraming mabigat. Hindi ma not, not, heavy, not heavy as things, but heavy as in the heart, right? So, this, uh, this moment, this state of emotion at the moment. So, there's a book, uh, Power of Now, that I read and I learned that even you try to be motivated, even you try to read all the books, even you try to have a mentor, even you try to watch all the videos, right? Go to a nice school, go to the best, still cannot have a breakthrough because you are not opening up. You are not feeling like in the moment. Hindi natin fini-feel yung power of now in the moment. So in this moment, how do you feel? How do you feel about yourself? When you look at the mirror, they look at you, you're very pretty, you're, they, you're very successful, you're very rich, you have all everything. But you, yourself, you look at yourself at the mirror and you feel like you're not good. You can do it because you're the only one who knows, right? Many people will, you know, like buy nice bags, nice shoes, nice watches, nice, nice everything, right? But deep inside, they are sad because when they look at the mirror, they see themselves. They know who they are, right? Our creator knows who we are. So if that's inside, sometimes it's guilt. Sometimes it's, you know, the pain or you've done something before that you cannot forgive yourself. So we have to clean that first before we feel freedom. We feel the freedom. Once we feel the freedom, our mind, our heart, and then our mind will synchronize, right? Because strategy, you're thinking in your mind, right? And then this, uh, this action, action uh, this uh, story is here. You feel you want to help. You want to help. But then you cannot do. It's like, I want to change, but I cannot change. Because your state of mind, you are not in that state of emotion. Your state of mind. Yung anong nafe-feel mo deep inside. Deep inside there's pain. Deep inside there's anger, deep inside there's jealousy, 
deep inside there's ego deep inside there's uh there's revenge so all those negative emotion if we have those in our heart we will not be in the state of mind because one day it will trigger us and we cannot do it straight so most people they want to do diet right so diet oh i will not eat for a week <laughs> or my diet is like i'm gonna drink all this supplement for diet right i'm gonna exercise five hours a day those are strategy but those strategy it will work for a few months but you cannot continue right oh i need to your reason i'm going to competition i need to look good uh, i want to impress my girlfriend i want to look good I want to impress my boyfriend. I want to win the competition. I want to look good. I have a movie to do. I want to look good. Gusto mo? Kasi may gagawin ka. But after that, it's not there again. So that's why the, like in, in uh, uh, diet or losing weight or, you know, if you detox first, you will have result faster. And if you have the strategy to use like uh, this type of food, like uh, you should just eat three portion, three portion of carbohydrates, three portion of protein, and three portion of fats. That's that's the meal, and then you 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 do eat every three hours. If you follow that, you will have a better result, right? It's not pushing. It's like when you eat banana, they put uh, something to so that the banana banana become yellow. It's not good, right? It's not the process, the right process. It's not the step by step. So this time, if you detox, detox. So whatever we do in life, we don't think of strategy right away. Strategy is important. Your why is important. But then there's more important state of emotion at that moment. That moment, what do you feel? Right? So you put that emotion on that moment. Right? So, for example, I'm here. I want to say something. You know, I'm just reading. Actually, I have three words here that I'm just following and I'm talking because my mind, my state of emotion is here, right? So, what's my strategy? I have a strategy, but strategy is later. So, I have my emotion here. I want to do something. I want to share this, right? So, why I want to share? I want to help many people. Why I want to help many people? Because I want to help myself, right? So, Grace, you're just helping people. Why? Why you want to help people? Actually, I want to help myself. I want to help myself to be a good coach. I want to help myself to be a good speaker. Why I want to help? Because I want to have some income later. Why? Because I have a brother that I need to help, right? I don't want to ask my husband for money to give to my brother who had accident that he cannot, he is, uh, he is not capable of working. And I feel I, I want to help him. I, I feel I want to help. So that's the reason. It's my story, right? So what's my strategy? My strategy is using this, practicing with you, and helping you at the same time, and building my brand, because later on, I'm going to get people who wants to have the same result and maybe they will come to me and ask me for help and I could help them. And during that time, I'm already good. I already practice. They said 10,000 hours practice. So that's the state of mind I have right now. I'm on the state of mind. So I learned from Tony Robbins, this state of mind. That's why when I cry, when he was talking, I cried because I feel the gratitude. Before, whatever I do, I just want to be known. I, I just want to, you know, like ego. I just want to show to everybody I can do it. But you know what? I was lonely inside because I have pain. I have that ego, that anger I have in my heart. And I remove that. I learn how to remove that. Since I learned how to remove, it's not easy. It takes long time to remove. Detoxing it takes long time. It's not going to detox in one day. It takes long time, long time. 2015, when I started feeling like it's, you know, I lost everything. I lost money. I, I, I was sick and 
you know and then i feel like all this anger like you know you're down you feel down and then i start searching for god i said there's we have creator he is the one who knows how to fix me. Siya lang nakakaalam na i-fix ako kasi siya yung gumawa sa atin eh. It's like your Toyota. You go to to Nissan and ask Nissan, can you fix Toyota? Nissan will say, no, I don't know about Toyota. So if you are Toyota, you go to Toyota and fix your car, right? If you have Toyota car. So who made us? I'm not gonna be fixed if I ask my friend, hey, what should I do? You ask your creator first, and your creator will understand you why, you're, why you want to be fixed, right? So if you have this good reason, you're there, you come to him, you remove, you ask him. You cannot remove, I'm going to remove my guilt. <laughs> you cannot just remove that. You ask your creator to remove the guilt, the anger, the pain, the ego that you have there in your heart. And he will touch you and then just remove that. Once they, he removed that, you feel open, you feel clean. It's like you feel like this. If this is coffee at first, it's difficult, it's dirty, right? So what you do every day, you pour clean water. You pour clean water, then the dirt will come out, the dirt will come out, the dirt will come out, and then one day, it's clear water. So that's what I learned. And he said that. That's what he teach this time. Your emo state of emotion on that moment. Uh, before I'm happy. Yeah, that's before. Don't worry about before. Be worry about today. Worry about this moment. What do you feel, right? For example, even you want to help someone. You're working. You think you can help someone. Of course not. You have work. You can concentrate. So you got to remove everything and be in that moment. If you're at home, if you are working, be at work. If you're at home, be at home. If you're with your husband, be with your husband. Don't think of other people, right? That's, you can be happy. So that's the first step. It's not the strategy. Most people try to push, push fast, fast, fast result. So many people wants to have, uh, wear like fake bags or something because they want to push to be looking like rich and they are not rich. Deep inside, they know they are not rich. They know they cannot afford to buy that. That's why even they wear nice, uh, like uh, for example, Louis Vuitton or something, it's fake. They feel inside. Maybe other people don't think that it's real or it doesn't matter. What other people think doesn't matter. What we feel about ourselves. In the John Maxwell's lesson, is, uh, they call, he calls it the law of the mirror. What you see in the mirror is what you attract also. How do you see yourself in the mirror? So that's the state of mind. You know who you are. So clean ourselves first. Go to our creator and ask to clean us if we cannot do it. Of course, we cannot do it ourselves, right? So once we ask, he will give us like guidance, right? He'll send us some angels like guiding us where to go, making good decisions. And then you will have intuition. And that intuition, you're like, I feel I have a magic. <laughs> it's not magic. It's guiding you. It's guiding you psychologically and emotionally so it will synchronize synchronize whatever you think is what you feel because the feeling goes and goes to the thinking and your subconscious mind will just operate right your subconscious mind you don't know hindi mo alam ginagawa mo dahil yun yung nasa heart na napunta sa mind so natural like how come you're becoming better, stronger, more successful? You're not even doing much. That's why. Because you do this in order. You do the state of emotion first. Then you go to check what's your reason. Why? Why are you doing what you do? Then you go to your strategy. What is the strategy you're going to use? 
to make it happen so that you can have a breakthrough, right? So this is the lesson that I got from, from uh, Tony Robbins this weekend. And then one thing I learned also that he also uh, teach us this time is about the power of superhero pose. So I want to also uh, share with you this story. In uh, 2017, we have a uh, Juness Expo in Milan, right? So when we went there, the, the keynote speaker is from Portugal. So actually, we saw him in the train. I said, I saw him. He's wearing a different color of shoes. Like, this guy is kind of funny, different color. One is, I forget the color, but different color. And then I didn't know he's the keynote speaker. So he was wearing a Superman outfit. And then he, he taught us about the Superman pose, like a Superman, like, yes, I'm Superman. So that's the, his, uh, his, uh, his message, right? So he taught us about uh, what's the power that you can uh, get if you do that superhero pose. you like, I'm superhero, I can do this. That's why remember our mother, like ang mama natin lagi, ano ba? What? Are you not gonna listen to me? Like, you know, when your mother go like this, we get scared, right? It's your mother's superhero pose like that, right? Or you go, what? Like, you go like this, it's also like your superhero pose, or like, yes, I'm gonna go. So when we win, like, you go like this, so it's also a superhero pose. So it changes your mind. It's, it changes your state of mind, right? So when you change, you you change the state of mind, it releases some, some uh, what they call this? Something like releases like energy, right? And you attract other people. And that's what he said. He said, do the superhero pose like two minutes before you meet people, before you go to interview. There, this is really a science. So if you, I searched it at, uh, TED Talk, I search about the superhero pose and I find out that I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use it. Then one time after the event, we went to, we went to, uh, where is that? Uh, London, right? My husband wanted to watch this uh, football in London. And then I told him, maybe I need some visa. He said, maybe not. Oh, it's difficult to get visa. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I just take you. I'm American. We can go together. So uh, ending, we didn't uh, get the visa, right? So I don't know why, but because I didn't know, I, I, in my mind, I can go. So from Spain, uh, from uh, Madrid, we took the plane. The plane let me in. I didn't have any visa. <laughs> they let me in going to uh, London, right? So when we get there, we saw these people like at the immigration. They put them on the side. I said, what's wrong with them? Maybe they have problem with their visa. I didn't know on, when, when it's our turn, they asked me, where is your visa? Visa? Oh, I don't have visa. I gave him my passport. There's no visa because I didn't have visa. And then the immigration said to my husband, you are American. You can go. You, Filipino, you don't have visa. You don't have uh, EU, EU uh, uh, what they call that, the uh, Schengen visa. You don't have Schengen visa. You can go. You have to go back to where you are, you're from. So you go back to Spain. I was like, oh my God, what I'm gonna do, right? Because I didn't have visa. And my husband's like worried, like he can, they let him go, me. They took me to detention center for maybe three hours. So I told, they said, take everything out of you, watch everything. I said, I need my medicine. I have a heart, heart problem. So I'm taking calcium block. So I said, uh, I need some medicine. They said, no, we're not going to give you medicine because if something happened to you, there is going to be our fault. So they put me at this uh, detention center for three hours. And then there's uh, the guard is like locked. It's all locked with, uh, with uh, glass. And then there's a security guard so you can go out. You don't have anything. You know for nothing. And then I was like, what I'm going to do? 
So before that, uh, I was like trying to, I can do this, I said. So I told my husband, just go, enjoy your day, now watch the football, and then me, they're gonna send me back to Spain. <laughs> so a airport to airport, they put me detention center for three hours. So I said to the immigration lady, I said, hey, um, can I, uh, is it okay if I, uh, you know, like get my medicine? She said, no. I said, is it okay if I go to, maybe let me go inside in London, in the, let me go out for at least one night. I feel bad for my husband. And then you know what? I, before I talked to her, I remember the superhero pose. But I cannot go like this in front of immigration. So I just did this. And then in my mind, I said, you will let me in to the country. In my mind. And then I was like, I said, please, can, can you just ask if I can go even for one night? And then tomorrow I'm going back to Spain. I'm not going to run away, I said. And then I don't know why I got her attention. and. I was scared, like when she's asking me, she's checking my bag and everything. And then I look at her and then she told me, I like your jacket. I said, this is, you're gonna let me in, in my mind. So I said, you're gonna let me in. And because I learned that from the keynote speaker during Jonas Expo in, in Milan. And then after that, she said, after three hours, she came back, she said, hey, Okay, go stay with your husband. Enjoy London for one day. And then just give me your passport. And tomorrow when you come to the airport, just give me a call and I'll give you your passport back. Enjoy. I was like, I was so surprised. She let me out. I have no, no uh, visa, right? And then on the way back, she gave me a ticket to Madrid and then go to uh, Jerez. That's uh, where we are. So, uh, boarding pass, two boarding passes, like uh, London to Madrid and Madrid to Jerez. In Madrid, <laughs> I don't know why, it's like, ah, my husband is enjoying anyway. I'm going to stay in Madrid for one night. So I get off in Madrid, even I already have my, my boarding pass up to Jerez. So I get off, I stayed in uh, Madrid for two nights. So I enjoy also in Madrid. And then on the way back, I meet my husband at the airport in Madrid. So I came back to the airport and then my husband came from London. So we're gonna go back home together. So he said, eh, just enjoy because you know, we're gonna go back together. But then I went there, when I'm checking in, they go, hmm, you don't have a ticket. I said, no, I have a ticket. And then they look, yeah, two days ago, you already have a ticket to go back to Jerez. And what happened? Uh, it's already used because you already have a boarding pass. It's already used. I was like, oh my God, I need to buy a new ticket. And then I said, where should I go? And then I talked to the lady. I said, your name is not here. You have no ticket. You got to buy a new ticket. I said, I stand there and I did my superhero pose in my mind. Not, not doing this one. In my mind, I have my superhero pose. I said, you will let me in. So I told her, what should I do? And then she go, wait a minute. She went inside and then she came back. She go, go to the check-in counter, get your boarding pass. So I went, I was like, oh my God, it works. So I went to the boarding uh, check-in counter again. And then the guy looked, he couldn't find my name there because I didn't buy a ticket. I have no ticket. And then he looked, and then I go, hey, is it okay if I check in my luggage because it's heavy? I distracted him a little bit. And then he go, okay. And he just gave me a boarding pass. I don't know how he gave me a boarding pass. I'm not in the, in the list. I have no ticket. And then I went to the, air, to the plane. When getting in the plane, the boarding pass this check-in counter guy gave me I'm already with my husband. When they put this barcode going inside the plane, it's red. 
I'm not in the manifest again. <laughs> I'm not in the in the in the name in the list of the passenger because I didn't have ticket. And uh, we are the last ones to get in, so the plane is already going to leave, so we're kind of late. And then my husband's like, he's worried, so I go, I, I just kind of did this to him. Don't worry, I'll do this. So I did like the superhero pose again, in my mind again. I said, uh, she's gonna let me in. And actually she let me in. I was like, it works. And then when we get off the plane at Jerez, the guards like the you know airport guard, guards are like looking at us it's like my husband's like they're looking at us so everybody passed already they call us i said ah maybe they find out but i said no i'm gonna pass this again so when uh, when we pass by the security they go can you put your luggage so we put our luggage and then they did, didn't see anything in the luggage so they go hmm and then they let me out. I said, maybe they are wondering, how did this girl get in the plane? She's not in the list. Of, there's no ticket. There, she doesn't have anything. And they let her in the plane. And that's because I learned from the expo about this superhero post. This works, really. So guys, you know, the expo, I don't know why about this uh, keynote speakers. They will teach you something that if you follow exactly what they said, they will have result. You will have result. Because that's why they can charge so much, right? That's why they can charge so much because whatever they teach you, you follow on the right order and you will get result. And this is what he's talking about. These three keys to the breakthrough. If you do the strategy first, or do the story first before the state of mind is not gonna work in a proper, you know, result, right? It's gonna work, maybe slow, maybe you push it, it's hard. But if you do the step-by-step -step what they teach you, you will have a good result. So this is my takeaway, and I want you guys to try this one because this works for me and this will work for you and thank you so much and i know that we have you guys wants to see the event and you know it's always good look i attend i attend the meeting and i win this one and this is also because i put in my mind that i want to have this one i took a picture of this and i said to my husband i'm gonna get this and I got it. So it's not a magic. It's you will get what you deserve. All right. So thank you so much. And I hope you learned something. And that's my takeaway from Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins, thank you so much. I want to go to your uh, seminar someday when I have a chance to go to the States. All right. Thank you so much to everybody. And this is what I learned from joining this very good company, very good community, Jeunesse. Thank you.